Hello, this is Ian again, uh, and we're still looking at uh, profiling our scanner using a, a scanner target. And I'm using the Hutch color. You may be using something different. Um, and I, what I've done is I've saved out my um, Hutch color target, and here I have it opened in Photoshop. Now, when I've imported it into Photoshop, uh, I've assigned no color profile to the uh, the image. You need to might need to make sure you go into uh, the color settings in Photoshop. Here's mine and just make sure that uh, profile mismatches or missing profiles ask when opening and make sure that Photoshop does not assign or convert uh, your raw scan to any particular color profile. If not, the profile that you make later on uh, won't work properly. Okay, now here's the important part. What I'm going to do here is I'm making an extended range profile with my Hutch color target. And as you can see, I've rested my uh, mouse over the darkest patch. And if you look at the RGB value, it says 16, 14, 13 there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my image to lab, image mode, lab color. There it goes. Now I already know that uh, the <coughs> L value, the lightness value, for that darkest patch should be 2. I read that from the reference file for my target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, levels. I'm going to grab my levels tool, bring that on, I'm going to click in there, and I'm going to put my eyedropper over there, and you can see that it reads 721, and I'm going to keep pressing the up arrow until that reads 2 in the lightness value. And you can see that I've, I've had to increase uh, the black to a figure of 12 there. Okay, so 12, let's change the lightness value to 2 which I know from my reference file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that now. I'm going to change my image. Actually, I'm going to go back in my history so I don't uh, muck around with the image. So let's go into my history here. There it is. I'm going to open the image back up again because converting to lab and then converting back out of lab corrupts the colors just very slightly. And what you're trying to do is you, when you're making a profile is you're trying to keep the... Uh, the original image data as accurate as possible. So loading up my levels again, I'm going to type a figure of 12 in there. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that, um, just whatever you like, save it as a file reference that you can understand, knowing that you've um, extended the black range by a figure of 12. And that is it, you've created um, an extended range um, target. Now we need to go make a profile of that.